other people who are out. There are other cultures who are out. The young people and the... Of growing up in a very remote village. That moment when I heard that story, that changed. Sometimes people think that as a way of life it removes you from community. And as a mum I would be so proud and I would know actually they're safe, there's no concern. They in their community a very uh, close faith. Have a good day. Have a good day. Take care mate. Lo que más me impacta es el ambiente comunitario que se vive aquí, la fraternidad, el ambiente. From just 10 acres in 1930, La Salle has now grown to 133 acres in size. Two suburban campuses, as well as programs in Europe, extend the classrooms of La Salle well beyond its main campus. And now, in its 150th year, with a faculty numbering some 210 full-time professors, La Salle offers 40 undergraduate programs, 15 minors, and 22 graduate programs. It has been named one of the best regional universities by U.S. News and World Report. Above explorers valiant tear under thine eyes, thy blue and gold banners unfurl me the skies, the sound, the sound, thy glory, thy triumphs, we praise thy name and song forever, shall we proudly raise thy sons and daughters standing await thy command. Thou fortress of faith in our God and our land, the sound, the sound, thy glory, thy triumphs, we praise thy
Although a resource-rich country, very little of the wealth reaches the poor. Over one-third of the population live below the poverty line, 90% of the poor live in rural areas, and one-third of children under five are malnourished. Thousands of tiny communities are divided by language, customs and tradition. Many of these communities have engaged in low-scale tribal conflict for generations. In 1945, the De La Salle brothers came to Papua New Guinea. They stayed at great risk to themselves and provided then, as they do today, the basic ingredient necessary to build a new... It's been a hundred of hands I've been shaking this afternoon. Brother Thomas is the driving force behind this project. He was born and bred in the area and used to walk four hours each way to school and back, so he knows the problems. <laughs> I'm really focused on the kids and their education. In Minahana, the Lasallians provide education for boys and girls in a remote area where they would otherwise be denied secondary schooling. We're the only high school between here and Moresby. The school is the only one providing vocational training, literacy and agricultural experience in the area. But high rainfall means it is regularly cut off from major centres by flooded rivers and so links to their villages are very strong. So I guess if the high school wasn't here, they'd finish their primary education at the end of sixth grade or eighth grade in some of the schools, and then they would return to their village. Father John Glynn has been working in Papua New Guinea for 46 years. In Mount Hagen, the Lasallian Foundation partners Rebyamul Youth Centre in offering respite for parents and children from the settlements. a computer learning center, and have a boarding school providing shelter for poor students from rural areas coming to study in Ho Chi Minh. They even have an English language training center in the basement of one of their schools. The school, thanks in part to help from the San Francisco district, now has several classrooms for local refugee Catholic families from North Vietnam. Students provide classes for local poor children. Novices attend classes and provide for all their own needs, from cooking to cleaning. In Nairobi, and is dedicated to preparing teachers for the Catholic secondary schools of English-speaking Africa. The goal of the Institute is to both prepare secondary school teachers in their profession and inspire in them a sense of teaching as a vocation. Sally in education for young English-speaking African novices and prepares them for life in community studying at CTIE. Here too, brothers from many cultures speaking many languages learn to live in community, villages. However, others board at the school. Classes are taught in everything from science to computers to religion. Additionally, the boys work in agriculture extensively, preparing them for life in their village. This is just a sample of the work of the brothers and their colleagues across Asia and Africa. It is in support of works such as these that we recognize our common bond and mission for Lasallian education in the world today and our solidarity with Lasallian educators around the world. <laughs>